Roxy, I'm going to make some changes to help my sister more. Yes. I'm gonna help. Okay, I'm help more. Yeah. yeah, good. Okay, true team, what say you? Judge Mary? Amy, I know exactly what you're going through because I just lived it. And I know, and Roxy, you really need to understand what it's like 24 hours a day to be living with someone who can't care for themselves. I mean, you're ready to rip them out of the bed. You're ready to rip your hair out. All you want is somebody to say, hey, Mary, you know, I'll come and sit with, with mom or, you know, because you go out with your friends and enjoy the day. You need to understand that that stress coupled with her own health stress, coupled with having to go and make a living, it's hard. Yes. I mean, it's like a nightmare that you can't even imagine. And unless you repair this and you get help, you're gonna continue having this frustration and this anger toward each other. Yes. And you need to work on your relationship with each other. Exactly. And that yes, means sisters. lending a hand or finding a solution. And there are solutions out there. You've got a daughter that's what, 18, 19? 17. Can she, 17, can she go just sit with her maybe for an hour so she can go shopping? Yes. You know, that's grandma. You, you know, you find alternatives, cousins, exactly. aunts, uncles, you know, other people, the neighbors, those people that say, hey, if you ever need anything, this is the time to pick the phone up because people won't say that unless they mean it, okay? So don't be shy and stop being so damn controlling. It'll get done if you let go and let it happen. Gotcha. All right, Dr. Judy. To be able to start repairing this relationship, you need to change the script and treat each other like equals and be sisters. And the first thing I want you guys to do is just turn to each other, especially you, Roxy. You haven't made eye contact with your sister this entire time. I need you to be vulnerable again. Let yourself be vulnerable to the person who took care of you when you were a child. And just say that you're sorry to each other and tell each other one concrete thing you'll do to better your relationship today. I'm sorry, because I have been selfish. Honestly, the issue is not about mom. The issue is that I need to help you. Thank you. It's too much. Yeah. And I promise to you that I will try to help you when you need help, you know, as far as for you. I want, you, mine, I want you to take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Great Thank you. Okay, y'all, we all up here trying to hold on the last. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> and we also have some professional resources for you, too. Licensed professional counselor Tony Woodridge is offering you both 15 sessions of group counseling wow. to help nice. mend your relationship as sisters. Rosie. We're all about providing solutions. So TrueScope ID by Katera is offering you and your sister $10,000 to go towards mother's care. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank so you. So you can use some of that money to go on a sister date while somebody else is taking care of your mom. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amy and Roxy, thank you all so much for having the courage to face the truth. I want to let you know that we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank love you. your mama while you still got it, okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right? Thank you so much. Absolutely. And love each other yep. while you still have each other because yep. sisters, Sisters are the best, okay? Exactly. All right. Yep.